to expect to come up. There I am. Hi, Shelly. we have got these, Shelly, just for you. Do you know what they all are? Come on, quiz time. Do you know what all these different things are? Shelly. Yes, all different ways of making flowers that I've learnt so far. Before I came on, just for you, I had another look at a YouTube tutorial on a real rose with the folding around of the, the leaves, and I'm going to try that. I tried it before, it sort of worked. <laughs> so let's see how we go. What we've got here is the long strip. Now, what I did learn on the DIY Facebook pages for the miniature dollhouses is when they say cut it five millimetres by five millimetres, cut it or one centimetre by one centimetre for a leaf, cut it bigger. If it's too big, you can trim the bottom off later on. Um, it's just that you've got to be able to handle it. Um, and sometimes they want it cut so tiny that you just can't. So that's the strip for the rose and that's how you'd have to make a rose. This one, and what I did, I went into my extras box. So I found some green wire. And what I'm going to do is cut some up for all of these. Normally with your wires, you do get a lot left over, which is great because you can do things like this. <laughs> now the Constantina ones, another way I had to make a flower once was cut out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, cut out circles. Um, individual circles sometimes you get in a kit that you've got to make into flowers. Um, so I'm going to, I've constantined the paper like that so I can just cut the one circle out and hopefully all of them come out. Another type I saw was someone cut the circles and then once they were on the stick, a bit of a, more circles than just three or four, so it was about six or seven or eight circles, and they fringed them all the way around, um, which looked good too. One more for seven. The big circle I've got over here is the one that I had to make a flower out of a spiral once. Um, and the first kit I made out of, out of the spiral, <laughs> hold on to it, it told me to start on that big loop there. Um, the next one I had to make out of spirals in the next different kit, different brand altogether, they said to cut that big circle off in the middle, which I found easier because you're starting on a flat bit, not that big bulb that's going to, because you have your wire facing this way and you roll it around. So that big ball's going to be in the way for me. Well, it was anyway, unless I'm doing it wrong, but this way looked okay. So, um, one of these we're going to cut into circles. So just trim around. Two of these we're going to cut into circles actually. This one's just going to be straight circles. And you'll understand what I mean when I've when I'm putting them together. It makes different types of flowers. And as I said, all the different kits tell you to make them all different ways. So I try and keep them together because. But I only want about three. And, all right. 
We'll put those other ones with this one. Hopefully it'll be around the same size. That one I've found it. I'm not a robot. <laughs> That's my left, but to you, I think it's my right. What's that mean? I've not seen that come up before. I'm only using scissors like I always have. We were talking about this today. They're just scissors. Uh, uh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Let's see if I get kicked off for the first time ever. I, I don't know. All I'm doing is cutting paper with scissors. What's... Who... Is that a robot doing that from TikTok? Like... Who decides that this is a harmful act? I'm using a pair of scissors and I have a central trimmer and that's what I'm on here raising awareness for. And oh, what's going on, Shelley? I'm only trying to cut flowers for you. Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, my first one... At that I did get in trouble for because I was only new and I didn't realise what it was all about. Um, I was in the kitchen and, I mean, this is how I have to live every day. Um, this is, I've seen it in other lives. I did you have a great way again? I did. It's not TikTok, it's a scammer. Oh, okay. That's, um... That's strange because I've used scissors every day to cut out things. I actually, I don't cut many things out with you, do I? The first one, like I said, I was cutting with a knife and holding the knife out saying, you've been waiting for this one, haven't you, and laughing. And yeah, okay, they called it a dangerous act. I could have appealed it um, and I didn't. But they've never, ever harassed me since and they gave me three minute videos sort of straight up after that and then they've allowed me 10 minute videos straight up so it was i thought they were a bit on my side but <laughs> it was someone's account did you bar them shelly can you do that for me please block them whatever it is that's ridiculous When you look back, it's not there. Oh, you did. Thank you, sweetheart. Now, the next ones are petal shape that I've cut out. And what I've done is squeeze them together. That's going to make another type of flower. And that makes a pretty cute rose. If you can't work out the folding, which we'll see, that makes out a pretty cute rose. Now, another thing, Shelley, is at Kmart, they had this hole punch and one's a petal. Sometimes, some of the kits that I've had, they get you to cut out that petal um, that goes round and round and round. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! Ugh. So, I found this and I thought, oh, cool. Instead of cutting them out, um, I can punch them out. So we'll do that. And then there, that's a different type of flower that they get you to make as well. So let's try and do this. My grandkids had fun with this the other day, but oh yeah, it must have been thinner paper they were using. It wasn't spinning them out. Oh, that's a half one. It's no good. Paper and the gold. <laughs> They're all half ones now. Some people are just horrible, aren't they? I mean, what, why come on and say that to me? See? Oh, the things we can. 
we were only talking about that today and then bingo <laughs> get some smart alec all right so there's some petals that we can make another flower with now with some of them we have to stick them on the wire with a hole in the middle some of them we have to stick the wire onto them so no it's not funny is it you have one in your cart on the line <laughs> what one what a um, pimple popper or one of the other oh, flower punch yeah i i um they're not bad i did use it in my last one i'm sure you gotta love kmart's craft stuff now this pimple popper normally if I can just keep poking it, poking it, makes a circle for me. Just hope it's gone all the way through them. I did use the flower thing, yay. But now I've watched a, a YouTube the Savo and saw how to make them properly with that type of flower. So this one we're going we've put the three circles onto the wire and all they want you to do is separate them and just sort of give them all an individual ruffle around the edge so they're all sort of sitting different or sort of when you bring them together they look like a ruffly flower sorry my big fat shaky fingers are in the way but you can get the gifts I'm just sort of uh, trying to squeeze around each edge but separately so that they're going to sit Now you can do this easier than I can, but and then you bring it up and you glue the top and the bottom, and that's one type of flower that just looks sort of ruffly. Um, that I could probably do that. The fringy one was the same, and I'm going to do it like this. Um, what it is, is you get the scissors, cut in, keep them on there, cut in all around, fringe it, and then you can push them separately and all the leaves will just go in their own direction and just don't snip all the way in. The other ones, I should have already stuck them on, the sticks on. I'll do that as soon as I finish this. Well, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Nearly got it. Now, I've made them sort of wider. Oh, missed. And then you just ruffle them in, sort of squeeze them a bit. And that makes another type of flower, which looks pretty cool, that one. Um... You can make smaller circles or as I'm doing now, I'm pushing the inside up, the inside one, and it's going to sit up a bit nicer. So that's a different type of flower. That's just a circle and trim around it, make it a bit fringy, um, not too thin, not fringed thin like this one. This one's real thin. 
just snip, snip, snip all the way in. Um, this one was a bit thicker and it made the leaves a little bit thicker too. So that's a different type of flower. Now these ones, as I said with these ones, what they basically want you to do with them is fold the leaves up all the way around. Um, and if you want to make a rose out of this, you gather the leaves in on the first couple, like on the first one, and then glue it to the next one. Gather that leaves in around. So the first one, basically, you make a cone shape with, the, um, with all the petals. You bring them all in. This is just a, a scratchy tool or a um, clay tool. So you bring them all in for the first one, a bit better than that. And then the next one, you stick onto the bottom and you can bring those petals up a bit more. And then the next one, put bring them up. And then as you go out, lay the next ones so the first three come up, the first one comes up and closes in. The next one comes up and opens up a little bit around that one. The next one comes up, opens a little bit around that one. The next one comes up, um, lays down a bit. The fifth one lays down a bit more. The sixth one lays down a bit more. So that's um, another way to make the flowers. My hands just aren't gonna do it tonight. <laughs> So, another one, or all these three, let's get some glue for these because I'm going to need the glue. But that, um, that fringe one looks cool. And that's just cut circles, stick them on and fringe them. They, and you can make them look really good with the different types of cuts that you do. Now these ones, I want to, the stick is going to stick down this way. But I want it to go behind the paper, not on top of it. So we're going to go through here. And onto the glue. Stick there, buddy. Okay, this one, we want it stuck on for the rose. And I'm gonna let these sit for a minute to dry so I can then pick them up and um, bend them and twist them without the sticks coming off. That's a big thing. Don't try and do it with the stick wet and not dry it a bit. It will not work for you. So. Let's put a bit more glue on. What's going on here? Right, now it's going to stick. All right, this one is just, we're just going to wrap it up and then fringe it out, a different type of fringe to that one. I'm gonna stick this one on because I like this one. Oh shit, <laughs> oops, sorry. <laughs> Just pushed them off. Okay, try and glue a blob at the top, push them up and then we'll put a glob down the bottom. to stop that one from sliding down. All right, 
So see, that one looks, oh, how can you see? That one looks cute, just ruffled and cut a circle. Next, didn't stick the stick on. Okay, so this type, you've made the, pe the petals, cut petals and you've bent them in half so they've got that crease. So the first one we're basically going to wrap around the stick. And we've made the petal shape that it's flat at the bottom and rounded at the top. So that first one we just sort of squeeze on like that. Now some flowers want you to make flowers like this. You put a little um, beady type flower in the middle and you wrap it around like that. And that's all it is for those type of flowers. They're the... Um, the red and yellow flowers at the back there are just like that a bead in the middle and wrapped around. So they're simple enough. So that's a different type of flower. But if you've got more petals, then what you can do, put a bit of glue on at the opening where it's opened a bit. And around it. And then we're gonna put the fold where that opens. And once again, squeeze it around. Then you're gonna do the same one with the next one and the next one and the next one until you get a cute looking flower. I even put the glue on here. Be easier probably. It's a lot of glue. <laughs> I didn't mean that much. Get off. Just once again, put that fold where you want it to sit out because you can, when you push it in, it sort of makes it triangled out so that it makes that little opening. And you just go around and around that way with these ones. Um, so that one is a different way of making the, ro the a rose type looking flower. <laughs> Sorry, there's Bruno again. He's always got to go off. It's my daughter comes home at this time of night from her boyfriend's place. So put it on where you want it to sit. Make sure you pull it out a bit so it has that rose type gap. So as you can see, we're getting a bit of a rose looking flower. So that's a different way to make a rose looking flower. <laughs> Let's call it that. Now with this spiral one, if it's stuck on enough, I need this first bit to stick so that I can start twirling it. Otherwise the stick twirls and the paper doesn't. And the stick's just twirling in the glue.
once you get it started you're pretty right and then just keep turning it it'll make the spiral for you because of the um, the cut try not to rip it as I said you really need that glue to be stuck so it's not just spinning on the stick at the moment it is it's not helping me out at all so I'm going to have to do it manually. Oh, I'm going to rip this paper. Come on, you bugger. There we go. can see what it's doing it's going around in spirals but I'm going to make it tighter as I said just make sure you let that glue dry and it makes it easier for you to be able to spin it. And with it being cut in that spiral, it's pulling the bottom in smaller than the top. So that cut does it for you. I'm not even moving it now. Let's just rip that off. It's going to take me forever. Let me fix it up. So it gives you that spiral looking flower. So that's a different type of flower that some of them get you to make. Another one is, this glue is not dried again. Let's try and do it and hope for the best. Just, um, wind it up all the way just flat listen to me you're literally there sweet as well oh thank you Emily I will. You, you must be my daughter already because my daughter's name is Emily. So there you go. You're adopted. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the green flowers popping out the top again. Right, so once you've pulled this in tighter than I can get it because it's just spinning in the breeze. Like I said, let it sit for a while. Once you pull it in, this is the one we've fringed. So you just push it all out and it gives another type of flower so that's another one that they've um i've had to make in one of the kits now the rose this one i have real trouble and in the books they don't they just show you that they fold it first and then they show you their final product and I could never work it out. But I watched one this afternoon and what I saw them do was get that circle going and then twist the paper down. Now I don't know whether backwards twisting it or frontwards twisting it makes a difference. But you wrap it around until that fold is nearly up. 
So that fold is nearly up. Then you bring it down again. So you're bringing it down basically beside the stem. So the stem's right there beside it. You're bringing it down parallel with the stem. And then you're wrapping it again. Just let me wrap this. And you're bringing the paper up to wrap it where the fold is and where you're joining with the other wraps. Oh, this is sliding off this paper. Come on, you bugger. Get on. Wrap it to where the fold finishes. Pull it down again. Fold it around. Now this may not be the way they're saying it, but it was sort of the way the lady I watched do it. Um, it's just not working for me because this isn't stuck. It needs to be stuck. For me to do it. Just give me a second and I will try and glue it again. Thank you Daniel, thank you very much. As I said, these flowers are really tricky the way they have them in the book. And I did see it um, in your book, actually, Shelley, the, the one that you're doing, the Paris Midnight one. Um, and I will show you what I mean. All it says is, where is it? This is it for the roses. So it just shows you... A little picture of a fold, then another fold, then another fold, and there you go. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't understand. So we'll try again with this glue. It's just not sticking with this paper and I don't know why because this glue has stuck with everything before. I want to get it on there first. it down and make it stick. All right. Whew, here we go again. So we've got it wrapped right around there, just little wrap. Then we're going to fold down parallel to the stick. Then we're going to wrap it around and bring that paper up as we're wrapping it so that it's level with the top of your flower. <laughs> just I'm sticking the stick right out the top now because we need it to so I can work out where I'm going and keep it on there. Alright. So we're wrapping it around. This is why I haven't made one of these flowers yet. <laughs> I work out a different way to make them. Okay, we get to the end of that fold. We fold it down parallel again. Bring the paper sort of up as you're rolling so it's folding the paper out at the top and it's circling the paper inwards at the bottom. Get to that fold again, fold back down beside. Now, just practice this. You will understand what I mean because I can't, Move my hands enough to show you. I'm going to lose it off this bloody stick again. 
Okay, let me go down. Mm. You know me, I'm not giving up. So it's going to have to give up because I'm not. <laughs> All right, so get it around there. It's just going to be a big bulky looking rose because I didn't stick it to the stick properly. As I said, this paper just does not like this stick. Fold it around again. Now, as you get further down, nearing the end of your um, paper, bring the petals back down again, downwards, so that it flares the rose out. Fold it back down again. I've bent the crap out of this one. <laughs> That's probably easier. Get rid of the wire. Okay, now, let's try this. See, without the wire, it does look like a rose. Just that fold down. I'll try it with a big piece of paper for you. So you've got it on your stick. Fold down. That was, this probably would have been easier. I told you this before to cut bigger paper. <laughs> I should have listened. Pull it all the way to the end of that. To the end of that fold. And fold it down again. Now these folds are just too big. Fold it down again and see how it's going straight down but then bring your paper up so it curls the bottom in as you're going fold it down the last couple bring them down so it flares your rose outwards don't worry about my top point there and that will give you a sort of a rose <laughs> Get it, won't you? Only three picks. Yeah, that's right. And you just, you can't understand it. It doesn't give you enough details. But that's what they're meaning. Fold it down from what I understood. Now, I don't know whether folding it back the other way is better. The lady did do it that way, but she was back the front to me. So I folded it forwards. Um, folding it the other way might be better because that would give you the the petals going outwards, I suppose, rather than inwards, like that one. So they're the different types of flowers that I know. Um, this one was just three circles first, ruffled. Then I trim, I fringed them so that they're um, they're all just puffy flowers. The rose that we've just done with the big paper as well, even though I've squashed the middle and it doesn't look like one now. This was a bit of long paper fringed and rolled up. This one were the petals cut out and folded and just stuck around the stick, just a shape of a petal like that. With a flat bottom and fold it around the stick in a gathering or the um, going to the next gather that you've got so this part's open here that's where you'd put your next flower petal um, this one was the spiral but cut that middle bit off in the middle of the spiral the big tab part cut that off and start your stick in the middle but underneath the spiral so the spiral should be able to spin around it and then these ones with the little cut out flower petals they want you to do pinch them up put it on the next one pinch the next one up um, and gather a few of them and you can get a um, more and more petals like a, a bit of a lily flower so they're the different ways of making flowers and I hope that's a bit helpful. 
like I said, those circle ones and the fringes, just around, I put the circles on first, then I just snip, snip, snip around, make sure I didn't cut the flower off. Um, and they look pretty cute. Also, the fringe with the, for an easy flower, the fringe on a long strip and wind it up. Um, these ones with the petals, like I said, they're pretty easy too. Just cut a petal shape, fold it and stick it around. So if you can't do the way they tell you to do a flower in a kit, do it a way you know how to. Um, then no one's going to know that it was supposed to be a rose and not a daisy. <laughs> so I know you can do it. I know you can. So I'm going to put all those types there. 